we, we need to uh, stop the war. We need to stop the time because we need to to understand the, the real uh, essential of the life. I don't want to be the preacher to others how they should behave and live and coexist. So definitely I will try to think how to just like, you know, how to dream together or something, you know. Maybe it's cliche, but it's... water. I mean, the new energy should be water. And even more, uh, through the through the air, like a plane with water energy. Because you don't have to do roads, you don't have to, I mean, you would protect better the, the environment and uh, you will use uh, really sustainable energy. But that's the dream. is always the train over a plane because I feel like I'm really in the country and experiencing it while I'm traveling. So there isn't really a, a distance, I would say, um, or amount of hour I would qualify it. I think it's, 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 you can't look at it in isolation and say, okay, X number of hours is why I would travel. Uh, I think there's a, not just from business, but even for personal reasons, there's like 20,000 different considerations, right? Like if you're traveling with a family versus not, right? Like, uh, um, your time is of essence let's say for example if you're trying to tr like if I have to make a family emergency my family lives in Bangladesh I can't take a train there right like even if I want to so I normally six hours yes six hours when it's more than six hours then I go it really depends how much time I have uh, I, I love the train and I'm happy to travel I don't know 10 hours 12 hours but if I have time it really depends on what the meeting is. If it's an extremely important meeting and I can't catch any planes, then I'd be willing to take a train even if it's eight to ten hours. But if it's not a, that important of a meeting, then it could probably wait or be a Zoom call now, nowadays, right? <laughs> I would definitely do within Europe and the UK. Last year I came from COP26 in Glasgow all the way to Davos. I'd love to uh, travel by road or train any day because I'd love to enjoy the scenery uh, along the ride rather than fly and uh, emit more carbon. And, uh, if there's a train that brings me to South Africa, I might work, consider working in South Africa. Uh, Ten hours. Well, to, uh, to Barcelona, Valencia, Malaga, Sevilla, it's uh, two hours and a half. I'd say um, five hours. For work, maybe uh, three hours every three months. Um, less stress and convenience is very important to me. I was traveling over 20 years by, by, uh, by the plane. By plane, and going to Paris might be an hour longer by train, but the, the stress factor um, you know, is much more convenient or there's much less stress involved. You know, we go downtown straight without arriving somewhere 50 kilometers in the middle of nowhere. I mean, it's very difficult. I mean, and I, you know, I think here there's a real opportunity for the airline system to start integrating trains into their booking system. You can imagine if, I mean, the airline started being part of, um, uh, you know, an integrated travel system with rail and with um, planes. You know, so you do the longer leg, you know, intercontinental by plane, but then you can do the sort of shorter legs within a continent by train. It would be amazing. And if you could, if you could upgrade the whole booking system it would make a huge huge difference it shouldn't be that difficult to do um i don't know more comfortable seats maybe more yeah so you could sleep an area to sleep 
might encourage me if it's a longer one. I've done 24 hours. I, uh, in South Africa, there's um, a train that you can do across the country, and that is part of the travel, uh, of the experience of being in that country. So, And then in Canada, there are also um, trains that go uh, across country. So anything that makes it an experience with the window, the setup, the accommodation anonymities, the food, um, and being able to get it on and off would contribute to making it an experience, which means that I would stay longer um, and build it within my itinerary. Drive for business, that's okay, but privately I wouldn't do that because it's more expensive than going by car or by a low-cost carrier like EasyWing or something like Space. that. And that's it? Savings. Okay. Right. Like if I can do like Paris in an hour and a half versus like seven hours on train. How many days you spend outside of the office? Functional Wi-Fi. Um, uh, silence, perhaps. Convenience. Convenience. For example, um, instead of getting up at four in the morning, you know, to catch a 7.30 flight somewhere, um, you know, I'm prepared, and my colleagues as well, to travel overnight if the night coach is nice, and if you get a nice breakfast, if you, you know, if you arrive fresh and well rested instead of stressed, well, because you're up already since four. I, I would more rely on the cl uh, the smaller public transport in the areas around cities, not on long distance. Long distance could be done by plane, but if you commute in an area like Düsseldorf and surrounding city, I would really prefer to have better connections, lower prices, and also around the clock and not ending at 10 o'clock in the evening and starting at 5 o'clock in the morning. That's uh, it's harder to be in the night trains for me because they're not secured. There is lots of reasons and situations that can be very uncomfortable, especially for female travelers. a little bit on the working style. So the advantage of flying for me is simply that I, I go to the airport. That is one stage. I am at the airport, sitting in a cafe, sitting in the lounge, that is another stage. I'm on the airplane, which is another stage, and then I'm traveling from the airport to wherever I have a meeting. And at each of those stages, I can plan what work I'm doing. So um, it, it, I'm kind of forced finishing my work or what I was planning to work on within this set of times. So. Trains are still quite expensive and I know that there are times when you compare the two and flights seem to be so much more cost effective and time effective um, and so I think sometimes taking the train does seem like a luxury. I think plane travel is, is much too cheap at the moment. The, the train can't be competitive in that way because uh, the train has uh, to pay for all the infrastructure which is a uh, uh, is, is, is extremely much more than uh, the plane which is kind of using the air which uh, we, we all have so um, I think yeah that's that's really that's really something that uh, that has to be I, I think there also need, need to be uh, government assistance uh, and also uh, uh, monetary involvement of the governments to, to fund fund uh, cheaper uh, trains in the future we know that um, flying is incredibly harmful for the planet so it should, um, there should be legislation that reduces um, the, the incentives for people to use airplanes. Unfortunately, the kind of trips I do, mostly I do by plane, but that's against my preference. No, no, not even the true cost, it's also um, artificially kept um, cheap. So this is wrong. This is because, uh, because of budget and because of a schedule car industry and the um, and the airplane industry whatever they need to be kept in check the, the main reason to use airplanes is time and then I think uh, it's easy to make some encouragement 
I mean, for instance, we are working in European projects, for instance, and that, I think that's a good, that's a good, a good politic, where they cover trains but they do not cover flights. So, since I've been part of a project in Brussels where they say, okay, we pay for the train ticket, but you can come by plane, but then you pay for it. I don't know, I'm pretty old fashioned, I'd just say boats. <laughs> That's, boats get you everywhere, but they could be a lot greener as well because they're pretty dirty. So, yeah. Most a lot of the boat routes that existed just a few years ago, so they definitely would need to reopen all of the ports that have been shut down for COVID and other reasons. So, yeah. Oh, yeah. Teleporting, yeah. That's uh, Spanish word. Teleporting. Okay, thank you. And maybe trains that do not rely so much on. Or on, on, on full, I don't know, but I, but I don't have the answer. I guess this is for the scientists to find a solution to the carbon footprint. Thank you. It would be lovely to do balloons or you know all these ideas which they're coming from different artists. You're also to some extent an influencer. Your action in how you get around the planet is going to affect other people's actions. And there's a kind of boomerang effect that if people hear that you don't fly, then they start questioning their own travelling habits. For me, day by day, I'm trying not to take more flights, no more trains, but uh, when you need to have a good relation between countries, you have to, not for business, not for culture, only for make uh, love with a person is the only question to go there. No more pollution, no more. Let me breathe. Yeah. Question everything. <laughs> Live now. That's good. <laughs> I would write solidarity, let's be nice to each other. 